Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfeel Automation. Last week I introduced you to map view and how we create our first map view visualization project. This week we're going to add to that project. We're going to actually add widgets to our project and rename them and we're going to just talk a little bit about how the IDs work for the different pages and how that interface works. So let's hop into it. All right, last week we created the pages and the content pages for our map view application. This week we're going to actually add some widgets such as the labels, the speedometers, uh, the readout for our temperature, and the buttons here. So first let's go ahead and go back to the project where we left off. The first thing I want to do is I want to change some basic things of each one of these. So go ahead and go to navigation, navigation page right here and right click on it and hit open as text and then the first thing I want to do is I want to change this to a name that's more similar to the name that we're going to be using. So we're going to name this Navigation Content. Navigation Content. Just like that. Make sure it's in those, in those double quotations there. And as you recall, that navigation, it's not going to be 800 pixels wide. It's actually only going to be 100 pixels wide. So go ahead and change that 800 to a 100. And then go ahead and click Save All, and then you can close out of there. The next thing I want to do is I want to open up this page.page .page for page one. So go ahead and right click on it, hit Open as Text, and then we're going to change the name over to uh, page one from this page underscore dot dot one. So page one, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and just hit Save and close out of there. And then we're going to go down to this page one content, go ahead and right click on it, hit open as text. And then we're going to change the name for this content page to page one content, page one content, just like that. And as you recall, that one's only going to be 700 pixels wide. So change this from 800 to 700. The width height will stay the same as 600 pixels and go ahead and hit save all. And then you can close out of there. And then we're going to open up page two, page dot page. So go ahead and right click on it, open as text. And we're going to rename this page two. Page two, just like that. Go ahead and hit save all. And then we're going to go and go to the page two content one, do the same thing, right click on it, open as text. And we're going to change this to two con just like that and we're going to change the width to 700 just like that go ahead and save all and can close out of there next thing what we're going to do is we're going to go into our paid navigation tab right back up to the top here right click on it open as a graphic not as text this time so you'll see it's really skinny. It's 600 pixels wide by 100 pixels wide. That's why it shows up so skinny right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a widget here. Uh, the widget that we're going to add is a, a button widget. Let's see. Uh, sorry, first we got to add a navigation bar. So go ahead and take this navigation bar and right left click it and just drag it over here. And then what I'm going to do is... Just kind of move it. Uh, let's move it. Just right like that. And then make sure you highlight it over and click on properties. Here's where we can actually set the size of it. So right now it's 150 by 30. As you recall, this is only 100 wide. So 100 wide. And it's 600 tall. So just do go ahead and hit 600. Now this is a container widget. So what this means is you have to put your buttons in this container widget. So just go ahead and... Oops. Move it right up so it's right up there with it. And then we'll go back to properties. Add a navigation button to the navigation bar. So go ahead and left click navigation button, drag it over. And then you can kind of move it into there. And we're going to do another navigation button. And then just highlight over the first one and then click on the properties tab. And what we're going to do is we can change this to a size, so it's 100 by 30. Let's just do 100 by 100. And I can move 
this down just ways like that. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll change the size to 100 by 100. We can change what's we can change what's in there. So right now it's navigation button two. We'll just say page two. And then this one we're gonna change to page one. Just like that. All right. Go ahead and save all. And then we can close out of that one. And then we're gonna to go to page one content. So go ahead and right click on it, open as graphic. And then the same thing, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a label. So go ahead and find label. Just drag it over. Just put it wherever you wanna put it. And then click on the properties of that label, make sure you're highlighted in it. We're gonna change this, the label. All right, and then go back over to Toolbox and we're gonna do, we're gonna add a gauge. Let's see here if I can find that radial gauge. So go ahead and click on radial gauge, just drag it over and then make sure you're highlighted over it again. Click on the properties of it. We can change the name to speed here, just like that. And we're good to go on there. Just go ahead and save that, close out of there. And then page two content, go ahead and right click on it, open as graphic. Same deal, we're gonna add a label. If I can find it, label, go ahead and drag it over here. Make sure you highlight it over it. Whoops, highlight over it, click on properties. And we're gonna change the name to temperature. Might need to make this a little bigger, just like that. All right. And then what we want to do is we want to add a numeric output. And we can just add it there. Go ahead and click on properties. Or we'll, we're we're going to add more into this next week. We'll change the colors of this and how these look. But that's kind of what I wanted to show you this week. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's tutorial on widgets and how we added them. Next week, I'm going to talk about how we name the IDs for those specific widgets so we can call them up in our program. And then we're going to talk about how we'd go about adding this configuration to the project. It's going to get really exciting. I hope you tune in next week. If you do like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. I've got a lot of other great content related to BNR and SIC and some of the other product lines we carry that may be of interest to you. I hope you have a great weekend and please stay safe.